The Gale is a great tune uh, written by Doogie MacLean, the very famous Scottish singer, composer, folk musician and fiddle player. My version is slightly different from his in that I add a third section to the tune. Um, it's a jig, originally composed as a 32-bar 32 32 jig, but I add a third section which makes it a 48-bar jig. Um, I play mine slightly different, my version slightly different throughout than Doogie. So um, that's why I put the musical notation on the Peak Fiddler um, Facebook page. So if you wanted to, you could download that and print it out. Um, I'm going to work through each section. There are three sections in this tune in the, in the way that I have um, interpret it. And I'm going to try you s and show you some of the things that I do in, in the way that I play it. Uh, chiefly, the slide. The slide in this tune is very, very important because we start with an open G and we slide up to the first note on the G string. Very, very important because it gives us this sound. And then we continue. So I'm just playing the other notes on the D string playing those notes on both the G string and the D string now I tend to put um, a grace note in there did you see that I have my first finger held down on the first note of the D string and I hammer down with my middle finger onto the next note on the D string. So I'm going hammering down with the, my middle finger, taking my middle finger off and also removing the first finger and playing the open note, which sounds like this. Of course I'm playing the third note on the D string with the ring finger. So from the beginning part is that's rather an attractive slide there using the middle finger I move from the first note to the second note and then I slide with the first finger got to try and get a combination of slides and grace notes into those no those that section of the tune because that's what makes it sound um, it gives it a certain character of for, the, for this particular tune the bowing we can come and look at later but just at the moment if you concentrate on the slides and then perhaps trying to do some grace notes you will be starting to sound as though it's similar to the original.
that's the first section. Now I should mention the bowing because that really also gives the, the tune its rhythm. Um, just perhaps playing the open D string. So it's a long bow followed by two short bows. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. things basically there there is the slide which um, gives a little bit of a adds a little bit of embellishment and then there are the grace notes and finally the bowing which is long short short long short short sometimes of course the bowing does change slightly um, but it does give you a starting point so even if you got used to learning to play the tune very simply like this. It would actually sound quite reasonable so those things are worth bearing in mind so <clears throat> moving on to the second part of the tune okay so i now move up to the a string doing there is I first of all start with the third the ring finger on the A string on the third note and I'm sliding up now that grace note there <clears throat> let's try slowing that down so I'm starting on the third note and I've already got my middle finger on the second note and I'm also hitting the open string afterwards so I'm sort of So, to start from the second part of the tune. It happens so quickly that it's quite difficult to pick up, but that's what I'm doing. I'm um, That's what I'm playing and then I move on with the middle finger and that's a nice slide again up to the open E string now I think I actually put another um, grace note in there And then on to the uh, first note on the E string. 
and there's a there's a grace note there I think they are described as rolls. I think I've read somewhere that um, where you play a note, you hold down a note with one finger and then you hammer on and take your finger off very quickly and then remove the first finger and play the open string. I think that's called a roll. Full speed, it sounds like this. I think I actually hammer on twice there by the sounds of things. Uh, moving on. Another nice slide. play the whole thing slowly so if you want to play along with me you can I'll try and include some of the um, ornamentation so you, you can see where I put it in and I'll try my hardest to slow it down which is quite difficult because I'm for years I've played and practiced so that I get quite quick at doing this so I'll, but I'll have a go and see see how it goes from the top three four tune um, if if there's anything I've missed out please just let me know and I'll try and add a, a further video perhaps some of those roles um, might have been better explained but as long as you get the gist of, of what I've played and it, and it gives you um, a slower version that you might want to play along with then that's great that that's a starting point as I say the musical notation is on the peak fiddler Facebook page so at least you've got a reference there that you can look at <clears throat> and and you can see exactly what I played in my original video 
So one more time, whoops, one more time through the whole tune slowly. <laughs> which I've completely forgotten about. <laughs> 